Okay, this is Primal Outdoors Camping and Overlanding. This is Jason. Jason's girlfriend, Megan, was driving her van. She has this white Ford e Econoline van that was uh, T-boned. T-boned at an intersection or on the road there in, um, in, in, in Oregon, okay? And she was pretty badly injured. She is recovering now. She's getting, she's back up and around. But it was, you know, it was nasty. It was really nasty. Anyway, this was, uh, you know, back in 2020, um, a really nasty accident. Anyway, um, well, things have changed. So the van, the dam, the the total van is being taken into a shop here and they're taking out all the workable parts. There's a lot of the parts, the axles, the transmission, there's a lot of parts in the vehicle that are still in okay shape. So what they're doing is stripping the, the vehicle here. It's gonna be total, but there's still stuff in it that's that can be used in another vehicle. So now they take the stripped vehicle, it's got all the you know parts that are usable, and it goes off to the junkyard. Now here's the new Econoline van. Here's the new one. And they're gonna be upgrading it to 4x4 capacity there by AJ's 4x4 vans there in Oregon. And they're gonna be putting some of the old parts that are, you know, into the new into the new van. So Megan now has a as a new to her. I don't think that's a brand new van, is it? I don't know. Anyway, it's a new van to her, and they're going to be outfitting it with some of the parts from the other vehicle and making it a four by four. And yeah, there there it is. There she sees it. There she is. And home. Oh, oh my goodness, my new van. It's got some parts from the old van, but it's a new van, and she's going to get back on the road, and she's healing up nicely. There's the crew there, Jason and Megan, and the uh, crew from uh, AJ's 4x4 van, fans, and the new van. It's nice to see a, such a nice, happy ending. Such a scary story there. Wow. All right. Primal Outdoors Camping and Overland. All right, all right. We've got a little mystery here with Daily Woo. I don't know. Maybe some drama. I don't know. Adam is hanging out at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios here. This was yesterday's video with a good buddy there, a friend. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know, man. I don't know. And uh, comments are turned off. I don't know, man. What's up with that? You know, we, we do hear of uh, that certain nomad there in... Uh, where is she there? Apache Junction, um, uh, Arizona, who does like to turn... You can turn your comments off. You wonder why Adam's turned his comments off. I didn't know, man. I didn't know. And again, today's video here, uh, Adam, Adam and Natalie, again, comments are turned off. Oh, uh, I don't know, man. Okay, what do you expect in a pandemonium video? We expect some uh, lots of road, you know, aiming the camera out the front of the vehicle. We got a lot of that for the first 10 minutes or so. And now we're into the gloppy food section. And there is Scott and Terry of Destination Open Road. They're there with the, uh, you know, again, you know, you, you know, whenever you, you, Elijah, Scott and Terry, you know, they, they are, they're a tribe. They're a tribe. And then we have, I believe that's John. John and Aja, are they, you know, they've been hanging around an awful lot together. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Anyway, is John now part of the tribe? I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, <laughs> of course, and I, two, two, verse, two sections of gloppy food in this video here. Uh, lots of bacon, lots of burgers, lots of cheese, and those yummy French fries. And there's the clickbait picture on the uh, thumbnail. Are they, are they a couple? Are they a couple now? Hmm. His first time. We got a new one from Itchy Boots down there in South Africa. Meeting endangered cats. Meow! Right, story chasing there, Amber, she's got uh, bug bites and she scratches them and then they get all itchy and yucky. So that, we're getting into summer. You can tell summer's coming in Florida and uh, itchy bug bites. Oh my goodness. Anyway, anyway, Amber, uh, you know, she had the bad orange. She had the, uh, <laughs> she had the, uh, the bad weather in Texas. She had, got kicked off a camp spot there in uh, Mississippi and, uh, and then she has a meetup. She actually has a meetup there. Oh, that's not a great still shot, but you know, you there's her. Uh, there's some of her uh, her uh, her uh, subscribers. So uh, 
Let's see if we can get a little better shot there. I, I can't seem to, there she is, that's a better shot. Anyway, so a little meet up there with the uh, subscribers. So uh, good stuff for Stormy, what's her name? Sto I was gonna go storm chasing, story chasing. Getting my YouTubers mixed up here. Panama City, Florida. All right, RV Rebel Girl is continuing the build out of her new van, her den. I guess it's actually her bedroom. Uh, she has a uh, trailer that she pulls, so she's going to have two rooms now. The trailer and uh, a nice little room in the back of the van. So she's got a little cubby hole for her doggy, D uh, D D Danny, Danny, Danny the Diva, Diva Danny. So uh, everything's looking nice, and aren't those nice pillows? She's home. And some more res uh, re renovations for uh, the full tiny house gang there. Uh, the updates on their uh, renovations. They've had some uh, water leak issues and they did some painting job and some new flooring in there. And so they've been real busy doing that. And I guess they get an approval from the beautiful pug, right? Oh, I think he likes it. I think he likes it. Letters, 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 letters for the 22nd of March, 2021. The Nomad, N H A O M A D, Nomad. I guess like gnome. Well, it would be G, that would be good. G H N O M A D, but it's N H O M A D, the Nomad. I think it's wonderful and a good example that you have persisted through the criticisms, adapted, and continued your channel. Bravo! I have seen a lot of YouTubers stop their channels or take long breaks under the stress of negative feedback. As comedian Ricky Gervais says, anything you do that's the slightest bit interesting, as many people are going to uh, hate it as well as love it. That's very true. That's very true. I appreciate your content and use it to find other RVers, YouTubers to tune into as well as to get an idea of broader themes within the community. It's like watching Jimmy Kimmel or John Oliver for the Olive for the for the uh, RV community. Great work, Dave. Maybe add in some interviews and a, and a couch, LOL. Yeah, we, I would do that. I will we'll do that some, one of these days. But, uh, you know, I do try to point you guys in the right direction. And, you know, again, it's just what I think, okay? It's just what I think. I, it's channels I like to watch, channels, for whatever reason, whether I like them or don't like them, they're oddly compelling, and I talk about them, and that's about it. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> I do think the one thing that I have done with this channel over the last five years has been consistent, okay? I try to keep the channel what you expect it to be. It's a YouTuber nomad reviews channel, and that's what I've done. I, I, I pretty much don't take breaks. I manage to, you know, keep the content coming on a daily basis, and I keep, you know, I do what you expect me to do. You know, I'm not stopping and then taking months off and starting again and then flipping the channel to something else and flipping it around to something else and then restarting it over three or four, 10, 20 times, you know. So I think just consistency is a big part. As Woody Allen, who's not always being admired these days, as Woody, Woody, Woody Allen once said, <clears throat> just showing up is about 90% of it, you know. Mark from Arizona says, Living Free Mike has a plan. He will not sell his rig. You know, again, what one of the sources tells us is that Mike is thinking about getting off of YouTube and going and doing something else. I wouldn't be surprised after he works through the grief of losing sober. It might take more weeks or months or whatever. <clears throat> I think he's going to come back to the realization that, you know, he liked YouTube. He liked all the people he met on YouTube. He liked having his, you know, he has a, a relatively sizable base of people on YouTube that really love him, you know, uh, you know, he may change the channel around, maybe go back up to Minnesota and do more stuff up there closer to the family. But, you know, even when he's not traveling, there are people that enjoy watching him and he knows it. Uh, Mrs. Queen B says, Derek bought the house for content. Now that the V is easing up a bit, he'll sell it for content. <laughs> which wouldn't surprise me. It is true. It's all about the content. And that gave him a, you know, many dozens of videos to fill with content. Buying, buying or renting or whatever he's done with the house, fixing it up, getting stuff for it, you know, and then, you know, theoretically maybe moving everything over to a storage container somewhere, storage whatever facility, and then selling the place. I don't know. I don't know. Or, or, Tearing up the lease. Who knows? 
Bust 6665 says the people who do all these live streams are too easy, too lazy to be main content filled videos. Another reason they do constant live streams is that they're looking for the handout donations. Well, the nice thing, it is easy. It's easy to do a live stream. You just literally click a few buttons on your screen and bang, you're live. And yeah, there's that dollar sign thing and you know. Uh, the problem is, I think, if you start overdoing anything, if you start, if I'm putting up 20 videos a day, the, the, vid the views per video are going to go down. If I'm putting, if I'm doing two live streams a day, you know, yeah, you know, it, it, it's got, people get tired of it. There's fatigue involved in it, you know. Oh, it's kind of like, oh, another live stream, you know. Now you got people like Rosie that mix it all up. She does a bunch of videos where she's, you know, regular videos, and then she does all the live streams. But it is... You know, I don't know. Sometimes you figure like someone's taking a weekend to do vacation or something and they, they crank out 25 various videos out of it. You kind of got to wonder like, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of time on YouTube. Why don't you go enjoy your vacation? You know, I try to say that with all the good feelings because I do like Rosie. I do think she's a very compelling person. But, you know, you kind of almost wish Rosie just... You got some friends there in Tijuana. Just enjoy yourself and don't worry about breaking out the camera for everything. You know? Larry X wants to know, is Crotchy a puppet or a Muppet? Have a great day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they got the term Muppets. Muppet. A puppet. What are you? I'm a real person, damn it. Oh, Crotchy's not in a good mood today. He's very grumpy. For, for, are we on? Are we on? 4 chess player says, every time Dave's in the car, we know it's a rant. We like to rants. I don't really rant. My doxinator says ranting is like getting mad and screaming and yelling and, uh, and spitting and that. Uh. You know, I'm very calm. and It's not really a rant. It's just commentary. I call him a rant, but it's not really a rant. <laughs> uh, Sunny Girl says, Dave, you are the Entertainment Today channel for, I guess, for nomads, right? Be proud and carry on. Uh, George Mulligan says the house is owned by the lady down the street. She lets him use it free of charge to keep the squatters out. Who are you talking about, George? Who could that be? <laughs> Cutlass Red says, why buy a house in Illinois in the first place? Strobe the hobo used to check out <clears throat> house prices in small towns all over. And there were lots of $20,000 houses in small towns, which are perfect if you have an RV and only need it to use as a base camp slash storage facility. <clears throat> the only advantage, I think, you know, Derek, <laughs> Eric, but by the only reason I think he really wanted that house, <clears throat> excuse me, is because it's close to where his friends are there in the St. Louis area. But I don't, you know, other than that, you know, if you, a warmer climate, you go south, you know, less humidity, you go west, you know, uh, war, cooler summers, you go north and northeast. I don't know. I don't know. And finally, Nomadic Weather Bear says, watch, <clears throat> watch my videos while driving in my car. <laughs> Good advice. Think I'll try that. I mean, you can use my channel. You can use my videos as a podcast. Okay. You don't have to, you can just turn the screen off. You don't have to look at the screen. Just listen to me, okay? I'm a podcast with pictures. That podcast with video, right? So just think of it like that. I, you can listen to it while you're driving and uh, don't, you know, don't have to watch it. No, no. <laughs> and one more. We'll do one more from Leisure057 Blank. Actually, I think Casey Roman is more interesting than people who remain nomads and their only travel is a dirt patch with other peeps on dirt patches having potlucks guess I'm over it. You got to hand it to Casey. She does make changes in her life. You know, she's made some big changes in her life. <clears throat> when she was the uh, TV reporter and then she got on the road and now she's selling real estate. She's trying things out and doing things. You know, some people just get in their vehicles and just circle the same place year after 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 year, you know. <laughs> She's doing, at least she's mixing it up a bit, you know, and uh, uh, that's a good way to live life. Constantly mix it up, put it in the blender and see what comes out. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. It is uh, <clears throat> ooh, <clears throat> not a dripping today. That, that pollen is out. Pollen is definitely out here in Western North Carolina. It is the, um, it is uh, March the 22nd, 2021. Thanks for watching. Vlog under.